All right. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are. Coming to the end of August, which means moving through the transition of seasons. How is everybody doing? I am going to do a challenge, kind of get us all back into our practice. We'll do that starting on the fall equinox, the 22nd of September. So look for more information. Seven days. I'll do a seven day challenge, different forms of meditation. I think that there's so many different forms and we all can resonate to various ones. So you'll be able to see which ones you like, notice how this practice can help you. So I'll be putting that in the teacher recite as well. So as we move through the end of this week, end of this month, got a new moon on Monday, so we're in a little bit of that dark of the moon energy. Maybe you feel it. I know we're still hot here in Alabama. I think today they're saying maybe 98, I don't know, maybe 105 with the humidity. So we can feel, the body can feel tired, I'm sick of this, same routine, same routine. And it is a time to kind of refresh the energy because fall brings in a newness, almost like a beginning of the year, even though it's not, it's the harvest season. So what can you let go of within you? How can you replenish those feelings of being really tired in your own spirit, your soul, your path, even the thoughts that you're thinking over and over, which is what we're going to work on today. All those old thoughts that keep me from moving forward, all those feelings of doing the same old, same old, that's what we want to let go. We want to move it out of the system so that we can bring in fresh light, fresh energy. I know for myself, I've had a huge renewal of energy for me, going away, moving through the loss of a friend and really sitting sitting in a lot of that energy, grief, all right, this was a different grief for me, and it was easy to have attracted or attached the way in which it did before, but using these tools and just really working and tapping through it and recognizing my path has helped me to really find a new faith, a renewed faith, not the old faith, but a renewed faith in my path and my purpose. And so I hope that these tools can help you to do the same. We'll move through our opening, breathing, do a little focus breathing, and then we'll move into some of the tapping. So as you're watching this, ask yourself, what is it that I'm feeling now? Am I feeling exhausted? Am I feeling tired? Do I feel like nothing's going forward? We're also out of the retrograde. Another couple of days we'll be totally out of the retrograde, Mercury retrograde, which is really a great way to pick up your energy as well. So ask those questions for you and use your words when we move into the tapping round, meaning if you're feeling exhausted, if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling tired, use those words to tap on in place of my words or follow along with me. Either way, tapping is good, really, no matter what. And as we tap together, sometimes what happens is you, you find other things you didn't even realize you were holding on to for yourself. All right. I did want to suggest, and this is something that I've been doing recently, and actually, funny enough, I just had a woman on the podcast, she'll probably be on next week, talking about the star people. I know so many, so many of you have asked me about the star people, but go outside early in the morning if you can get up and look at the stars, or maybe it's late before you go to bed, and notice the stars that you are sleeping under. All right? There's so many right now available in the sky, all the Pleiades. The galaxy is out there, the Akutari, all this energy is out there, and we just have to connect. I do find it helps to lift your light vibration as well. All right, so let's begin. Finding something to light. Calling in the element of fire. Lighting that fire to spark your soul. Noticing the color, allowing it to pull you within. Allow yourself to feel the energy of the air, clearing the space, clearing the mind, taking a deep inhale and exhale, calling in the element of water, let it wash all the way through, opening the heart, moving the emotions, calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, Taking a deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, call all your energy back into you. Call it in. This can be draining if it's everywhere. So call it in. Feel it coming in. Energy follows intention. Taking another deep inhale, expanding the breath up the body. 
And as you exhale, aligning the energy, calling in that spiritual body to align right on top of the physical, the emotional, the mental bodies, centering, slowing down. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And exhale, dropping the awareness into the heart, right into that deepest part of the heart, feeling that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are loved, guided, protected. Feeling all this energy coming in around us as we create this sacred circle of light. Calling in the masters, the teachers, calling in the archangels to open the heart with love. Calling in the crystal beings for amusement, magnification calling in your higher self to receive the messages you need at this time. Feeling all this energy aligning, coming together for you. Inhale, breathing up the body, opening up that radiance all the way into the higher realms beyond the body. Exhale, bringing that breath all the way down. Absolute light, streams of grace calling in. Breathing up from the earth, all the way through the body, up into the higher realms. And exhale all the way back down. From the heart, expanding the breath all around you, front, side, back, side. Exhale, breathing all the way back in. Let the aura breathe. Inhale, expanding the breath all around, opening up any stuck energy. Exhale, breathing it back in. Inhale, expanding the breath all around you. Exhale, breathing it all the way back in. Right here in the deepest part of your heart. Ask. Notice. On this great wheel of life, this laid part of summer, where are you? You and your soul. That connection you have with the greater soul. Where are you? Are you tired? Are you feeling worn down? Same old, same old. Where can you open up to let go? Whatever it is for you. Turning of the mind. Same old routine. Maybe it's just the thoughts you're telling yourself. And that's what we want to tap on. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Taking complete responsibility for your body, mind, emotions, and spirit. Notice where that level of distress is for you. Scale of one to 10, no right or wrong. Just give yourself a place to work with. Really exhausted, tired of the season. Maybe you don't want to let go of the season. Maybe that's it too. I know I love summer. And on that scale, one to 10, that's where we begin tapping. Right here at the Karate Chop, just repeating after me. So even though I do feel a little exhausted and worn out from this season, from my life, but I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. So even though I am feeling a little bit exhausted, tired, tired of these same old thoughts, but I choose to love and accept myself, no matter what. So even though I am feeling a little tired with all that's going on for me right now, I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Little break here. Just noticing where you are on that scale of one to 10 as we move through point to point, feeling exhausted, feeling tired, just tired and all that's going on. I know I'm a little exhausted, side of the eye, doing the same stuff all the time, underneath the eye, thinking the same thoughts all the time. Feels like I just don't wanna move forward. Not that I don't like the fall, but I'm just so tired. Tired of the same old stuff. Same old diet, same old patterns, doing the same old things. 
I'm just exhausted from it all. I can't tell you how many times I spin the same grooves, thinking the same thoughts. It is time to let it go. It is time to transition the seasons, to start some new patterns, new thoughts. But I just keep coming back around to the same ones. Why do I do that? It's my brain. Truth is, it is the brain. That's why we work with it. We want to get out of those old grooves. We acknowledge the old patterns and choose to let go. I choose to breathe deep. All this old energy right out of the body, out of my mind, releasing my emotions, recognizing where I carry them in the body, which all of it makes me drained and tired, extending myself to everyone except for me. Right now, this last part of the summer season, it is all about taking care of me. I need some care. I need some TLC. I need to just pause, replenish, slow down so that I can feel inspired with the new season. There are so many amazing things going on around me, but I'm just too tired, too filled with old energy. I keep carrying it around. I keep blaming myself, sometimes shaming myself. Why do I keep doing this? Because I'm caught holding on. But I have to hold on. It's the only thing I know how to do. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe I don't have to keep doing the same thing. How do I break that pattern though? I keep hearing myself saying I want to make some changes, and I do, for a day or two. Then I come right back. It just happens. And then I get so mad at myself. And truthfully, that's part of neuroscience. Safety always wins. And so when in stress, the brain goes back to where it is or what it knows. But we do have the power to change that by breathing, by acknowledging all the many things we did accomplish, by keeping track of what we did do, not what we didn't do, switching that mindset which will create dopamine molecules in the body. I acknowledge all the many things I did this summer. I acknowledge all the growth, seen or unseen. Sometimes we don't see it, it's soul work, but it's happening. But we have to slow down to access the information. Slowing down to receive the messages that our soul wants to bring in. 
receive the messages from our guides. But if we keep spinning those grooves, running too fast, never slowing down, we'll miss it. We'll miss the messages. And then we give the brain that opportunity to go back to safety. Safety always wins. That's why we tap. To break up the patterns, to reprogram our energy, to set intentions with our energy body first. Energy follows intention. Coming deep from the soul. What is your soul asking you? All right, right here. Let's just take a pause. That's a good question. Close the eyes. Take a breath. What is your soul asking you right now? Listen. Let's do a silent round of tapping as you listen. Point to point. Listen for the messages. Take another breath right here. What came in? For me, it was a little humor like, oh my gosh, why do I keep churning those same thoughts? Come on, T. So we have to give ourselves pep talks sometimes. And we have to recognize when it is a churning of the same old, same old. We have to listen to the messages of our soul. Here we're going to go again, another round. And this is what one thing, one thing can I begin to let go of through the end of this season? That's the question we're going to ask. And we're going to pause again to listen. What can I let go of? A thought habit, pattern, what do I really want to let go of? What is it? Take another breath. What came up for you? For me, I'll share. I'm vulnerable here. I feel the emotion rising. All right, that's what we want. We want to feel the emotion rise. For me, it's Closing my heart. Years and years of closing my heart. What is it for you? Let the emotions flow. That's what we want. Let them flow. Tears are welcome. So whatever it is for you, we're going to now reverse engineer that, so to speak. Say it for yourself. This is what I want to let go of. I don't want to be in this place. So I am choosing right here, right now, as we move through this transition, to let this go. Because I know deep down in my soul, I can open up whatever it is for you, for me, my heart. I can open up to this part of me. I can open up so that I can greet the new season feeling refreshed. I choose to acknowledge this with gratitude to lift my vibration with all the many blessings I already have. I acknowledge them so that I can refresh my energy field with these intentions because I choose to love myself. I can do this. I am doing this. I am strong, alive, full of joy. I am opening up to me. 
Take a deep breath, come to the karate chop. I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Release the hands, take a breath, hold the breath. Let it circulate. And exhale out. Noticing how you feel, stretching up. Take a drink of water, let the water rush through. Notice, notice how you feel. Bringing the hands to the heart, ending in gratitude. Gratitude is huge. Take a moment. Thank the summer. Good, bad, or indifferent, all the many lessons, all the growth that you're bringing in. Gratitude for your spirit, connection with the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up for you each and every day. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth. Take the right hand over left shoulder, left hand over the right, and just give yourself a hug, a nice big hug, loving yourself. That's where it begins. All right. To your spirit. Have a great day. Namaste. Thanks, Terry.